Good morning church, I hope you've had a really good week. I'm just going to share with you from Luke chapter 7 verses 11 to 17. Soon afterward Jesus went to a town called Nain and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. As he approached the town gate a dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother and she was a widow and a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her his heart went out to her and he said don't cry. Then he went up and touched the bier they were carrying him on, and the bearer stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread throughout Judea and the surrounding country. Uh, so I guess when we're uh, in the time that we are, when we're living through um, these strange um, times that are full of suffering, you know, we're seeing people dying, we're seeing um, an awful number of people um, on the news that are dying, thousands and thousands within just the UK, if not the, the wider world. Um, and you read passages like this about um, Jesus raising someone to life and you think, well, Jesus, why haven't you done it for this person? Why didn't you do it for that person? Like, where were you when this was happening? Why weren't you helping me? And you know what? Sometimes we just don't know. Um, stuff in this world hurts. Uh, in my life, in most of your lives, I'm sure we've lived through some stuff that's really hurt. And it's not because we've got a vindictive God. We've got a God who's completely in control. But this world is sinful. This world um, is hurtful. And so stuff happens um, and it hurts. And we don't always know why. Um, and we may not know why until we get to heaven. But the one thing that struck me in this chapter uh, maybe for the first time, I don't know if I've ever thought about it before, is that it says that this woman um, was following the body of her son being taken out of the city and there was a great crowd with her. Um, she wasn't on her own, her friends were there, um, her church was there, her believers were there with her um, and they were comforting her. And I think that's a real comfort to us to know that, that pe we're not on our own, people are there for us, we've got a church, we've got a church family, we've got friends who are there with us, um, to walk through the storms with us, to walk through the suffering with us, and we don't have to do it on our own. Um, and church, if you feel like you're doing it on your own, then reach out to us. We don't want you to do it on your own. Um, we're all in this together.